Twice a month here on News 8 at 530, cardiologist Tim Malins of Rochester General Hospital helps us understand our hearts. I spoke with him earlier about cholesterol. Today we're talking about cholesterol and atherosclerosis. We're going to begin with the definitions. What's cholesterol? What is it? So cholesterol is a compound that we have in our body which we make, our body produces it and it, we use it for our membranes and our cells and so it's a normal thing. It's also what we get from animal products and those type of things. So it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing at low levels but when it gets high is when we start to worry about it. And how does it cause heart disease? I mean just too much of it building up that's that simple? Not quite that simple, but if you if you look at the the trend of heart disease and how much cholesterol we have, mm -hmm. the higher the cholesterol, the more likely it is that we're going to have atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, which mm -hmm. really is a buildup of this cholesterol compound with fat, with calcium, with some fibrin that starts to grow on these uh, coronary arteries, and two things can happen. The one thing is it can grow to a point where it starts to block off the artery, and at that point, then you start to concern about we're going to get issues with the heart, anginal type symptoms. We can get problems passing out because we're not getting enough blood to the brain or what we know is peripheral vascular disease. Yeah. The second thing that can happen is the smaller plaques can become unstable, can break off, and the inside of the plaque is very thrombogenic, meaning mm. what that does is it causes a clot, and what that clot does, it goes downstream and completely or partially blocks off that artery, mm -hmm. and that's when we see the stroke, and that's when we see the heart attack. Yeah. What's the main treatment for this? Uh, there's a lot of treatment. So if you look at the, the things that really cause atherosclerosis, so there's a wide variety of things, and those are what we know as our kind of cardiac risk factors, our atherosclerosis risk factors. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking especially, family history, and then things just aging and gender, all of those can contribute. And the treatment really is the things that you can modify, which we've talked about before. So the diabetes, the quitting smoking, the high cholesterol, and the blood pressure. Isn't it amazing how everything always comes back to lifestyle when we're talking about heart disease? Seems that way. All right. Thank you. Thank you. For more segments called Your Heart and You, head to our website, rochesterhomepage.net.